Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you've already read in the title, is going to be the nursery room tour. Now this is very long awaited. I've been meaning to film this for absolutely ages. The reason I haven't is because I've changed it like a million and one times since he's been born. Um, and the reason for that is because we've, you know, had different needs for the different stages of his life so far. So um, the chair in the room, which I'm about to show you, basically was in our lounge room for a little bit because um, when I was first, when I was first breastfeeding, I found it easier and more comforting to be in that chair all the time, not my lounge. So we decided to move that out into the lounge room. But now things are a bit more, you know, in a pattern and we, we know what's going on. I've moved the chair back into his room so I can breastfeed in the night in the dark. And also um, because we need a play space for him in the lounge room, which was where the chair was. So, with that spiel out of the way, let's get stuck into the room tour. I'm going to tell you what places I got things from. Um, and there's a few things that I don't know the prices of, but, um, and, and things that I've had from when I was growing up. But I'll try my hardest to link things down below to get something similar for yourselves. So, let's do this thing! So, as we open up the door, immediately you are greeted by... Mr. Bear bag thing. Now this I bought from, was it AliExpress? I'm gonna say AliExpress or Wish, I'll double check my account for you, but it was something like four or five dollars. And then I've just got all the blankets and throws that you know I can just grab and run into the lounge room when I need or in his bed. So this is the nursery from looking outside the corridor. We've got lovely wood floors, which I love, and the rug. First of all, the rug was from Bunnings. Now, this was about $70 or $80, so it was an absolute bargain, and it was so plush and everything. It is coiling a little bit. Is it coiling or, like, matting a bit over here where we stand a lot? But otherwise, it's so perfect, and I love it for the price we paid. Now, over here on the left, this cabinet, oh, cabinet cupboard was actually from Aldi, so you won't be able to buy that anymore from Aldi unless they bring it out again. But I'm sure you could find something very similar from Super Amart or um, an online store of some kind, or even like the outlets um, that sell secondhand furniture, I'm sure would have something like this. Um, and you could even just, you know, change the handles to from Bunnings or whatever. Um, then I've got this lovely thing now it normally says Darcy's room but we changed it to Darcy's first Easter or first Christmas I can't remember um so I haven't put room back on there but normally it says Darcy's room and yeah it's from Kmart I think Elliot said he got it for me it was from uh, as a Christmas present so I don't know how much it was but it wasn't too expensive some Christmas gifts and christening gifts and birthday gifts and things like that from family and friends, which I love, are just so adorable. Um, two of which are money, money pots. And then moving up to the wall, I'm sorry about the glare from the window. Um, we've got this artwork, which I think was from an Etsy account, but again, I will find it and um, link it down below for you. I think it was about $30 for the four prints, um, but obviously you can, you know, switch it up to whatever you want. There are coloured ones or black and white ones and things like that. And the frames are actually from Kmart for, I think, $4, four each or something like that. Something crazy cheap. So, yeah, so we've got a bunny rabbit, a koala bear, and a duck. And then over here I did his hand and footprint, which I love. They're so cute. And then I'm going to write, <gasps> excuse me, Darcy's name up here and then his date of birth down here. But I haven't decided what stickers or what I want to do. So we'll wait till we have another bubble before we do that. So let's move on in a circular circular motion. Um, so yes, we've talked about that. The chair, as I'm sure you probably can recognize, um, but if you don't know, it is from Ikea. Now, it's a funny story with this. I actually bought it for 400, no, $3.95 or 400 and something, um, like literally a month out from Darcy's due date. And then within two weeks, someone told me, that they just got this chair for $2.65. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I just bought this chair and saved up for this chair. So they ended up actually giving me a refund back, which was so nice, I love it. Um, and I ended up buying a rug in the lounge 
with the extra money. But yeah, I love it. So 269 or 295, I can't remember. I again will link it down below the exact amount, um, but it's just perfect. And it's so supportive in the back as well. Like when I was breastfeeding, it was just really supportive, which I loved. The pillow is from Kmart and it can be flipped to be that. I guess if you have a girl or if you just like that face, then you might want to do that. But I like it on the dream side. Then I've got the Aiden and Anais um, muslin wrap here. But really, I just like change all the time what throw I have on it. It's really just either for warming myself at night or him, or it's just for catching the sick. So nothing too special. And then sometimes I'll put a blanket down like on there where I'm sitting just in case, you know. I'm not wearing lots of clothes and don't want my skin rubbing on it. The puff is from an outlet in Springwood. I think it's like the furniture outlet or something like that. But again, I will link it down below. It was about $40, $40 I think. This is a bookcase. Now, I'm not sure if I love it in this position. I was contemplating it, putting it here. But it's a bit in your face when you come into the door, so into the doorway. So I think there works for now. The curtains fit behind it and everything. So yes, that was a gift from my mother-in-law. But I think I saw it in like the reject shop or somewhere like that. Um, I can't imagine it being too expensive. But yeah, I don't know the price and I don't know where she got it from, unfortunately. So I won't be able to link that. But I'm sure you could find something online very similar. And it actually folds up as well. So yeah, it's quite good. Um, and then obviously all of his books and toys go on there. Um, the curtains are from Spotlight. Again, I think these were on clearance when we bought them. They're actually lockout blinds. So um, I think they were about $30 for the pair, which is so awesome. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's just wait for this helicopter. Okay, good. Yeah, so the curtains were about $30 or $40, and then the pole was from Kmart, uh, Kmart, sorry, uh, Ikea, which I love, so cute. Um, so yeah, moving down to the cot side, sorry about the light that's shining on the teddy bear. Um, this was actually, let me just get in the right position, this is actually my cot when I was a baby. Um, all my siblings were born... Well, not born in it, but they were raised in it from being a baby. And then my cousins were raised in it. And I actually uh, repainted it. I completely stripped it back, which took forever because they're round poles. So I ended up having to like sponge each individual pole, which was so tedious and time consuming, but so worth it. Like, look how cute this is. Like, this is how old it is. It's got like this little thing where you lift it up and swoop it back. And then it goes down which is so so old school but i love it so much and it's actually a lot smaller than the average size cot the average size cot is about oh, i don't know another like that much on the end so yeah this is a very small room but it kind of works in well for this the cot style i've got and then um i just keep his swaddle thing at the end not swaddle what's it called sleeping bag the teddies and stuff were from different places. I think Maya, that was a gift and there's, they were all gifts, so I don't know where they were from. The change table was an actual, actually um, a steal I got from Gumtree. Um, but, however, I think it's an Ikea original table. If you have a look on your local marketplace, I think I got it for about $40, I want to say, maybe even 20 It was such a steal. And then I've got some... Uh, I oh no not I care I keep going to say I care and Kmart but they are actually Kmart these ones um I think they're a few dollars each I am going to be doing a closet tour um an organization video um actually coming up in the next few weeks so stay tuned on my channel if you're interested in that um and then I've got these really cool I don't know where they actually got them from but they were in the house that we bought here um, but they were hanging on the doors and they're just like these little things and they fit perfectly over here so if you can find something like that do it because they're so handy and then I have another one here for like used clothes um, so yeah they just slip off and I can put them wherever I want and then I've got like this little other caddy thing um, for like this uh, what's it called Disinfectant spray, silberline cream, carash, and hand sanitizer, most important. And then this is the cupboard, which is actually a Bunnings cupboard. 
um, it's a robe and this whole cupboard without the doors because they stupidly sell them separately is actually $350-ish, I think. I'll list it down below. Um, but if you buy the doors, they're like $80 or $90 each. And then if you get mirrored ones, it's even more expensive, which is absolutely crazy. But as you can see, it's a pretty big mess of a cupboard. Um, there's just heaps of stuff up the top that we store. And then, as I said, I'm going to go through all of the... The stuff there. The reason I haven't bought the doors is I actually quite like it when it's open open space and I can see what he's got all the time. Um, I will eventually buy doors for it but for the moment I'm quite happy without the doors. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, it was a bit of a quick one. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, if you're interested in knowing any more about the room or specifics or things like that then be sure to leave me a comment below with your questions and as I said hit the big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and looking forward to the closet tour and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!